All right, YouTube, we're going to play some more Death Shadow today. Same list as I've been playing. Didn't want to change any cards, so we're going to give it a whirl. Kind of me. It's better to call the scry. The new mulligan rule is good for magic. I just hate, like, Veil's bad in the fair matchups besides Death Shadow. Like, it's it's not good. It's not good against control decks. It's all right against control decks. It's not good against Jund because like you just deplete each other's resources and they out top deck you. Um, it's aces in the mirror. It's the best card you can have in the mirror. That's why there was three in there. Echoing truth is cute. I think maybe. Like, if I knew, like, there was one time that I was playing in a uh, modern challenge, and I saw Ben Jones, uh, whatever it is, um, god awful rebuilds of classic modern decks. Or <laughs> Liliana. Like, if I wanted to play a grindy card, like, honestly, and I get yelled at for this all the time, if I would play a grindy card, I'd either play a second one of these or I'd play a mind sculpt. But, like, I don't even think that the metagame even, like, says you should play any of those cards. Because, like, the grindy decks just aren't that good. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's being results. Oriented. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand because it just has like a very high raw power level. And I just hope that we get there. Yeah. Like the cast down is like. The cast down seems really odd to me, but Brandon plays it. You know, and like. I've listened to him in the past. I think we're playing against fairies. I think that's what this means. Like, I always just guess we're playing against fairies. Uh, that's going to be good because it's going to mean we're going to be able to deploy a shadow next turn. All right, we can now thoughts he's a bitter blossom, which is nice. We have to fetch out double blood crypt, which is weird. I'm just gonna take the Snapcaster Mage. Like these cryptos are gonna be so slow that we'll be able to deal with them before they get here. I mean it's gonna get our mana's gonna be weird this game. No doubt about it. <clears throat> Like, next turn, I'm probably just going to snap Thoughtseize. That's what they drew. Yeah, we have both of our other Black Shocklands. That deals more damage. Second Crypt OP. Yeah, I like the second Blood Crypt. There are people that are smarter than me that don't. But, like, just get you out of a lot of stuff. Hey, leave it. I get that you're not comfortable, Philly boy. We take one of these cryptics. Yeah, dude, you can have your color guns commands. This is going to be a fun matchup. My opponent just has to hide behind Cryptic Command for the rest of the game. We have to be careful we don't get burned out. Let them steal a game like that. So we're probably not going to shock ourselves next turn. Okay, so they're just going to bounce that. All right. 
Oh. Is that a good draw or is that a good draw? That probably seals it up. Play this. Play this. I'm going to play this tapped. Like, we're going to have... Um, wait, hang on. Go to five. These are eights. Hang on. If I go to five, if I go to five, these are eights. Shock to ten. They'd have to draw red source and lightning bolt and counter spell to not be dead through I mean, we have battle rage though, so it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna shock myself. The pepperone. Yeah, I think that that's a strict mistake there, Menace. Like the the steam vents is so bad. Like I've tried to cut the steam vents. Having a having a having two lands in your deck that aren't black are just so awful. This old tar pit and bolt. This feels like a tar pit and bolt. Feels tar pit and bolt doesn't do anything though. Doesn't kill me. Opponent. Opponent, what are you doing? Still just dead on the board. Should I battle rage and stub my own battle rage for the memes? They play main deck lava again. That fatal push really did it, opponent, huh? All right. Cards we want in. I saw less an IQ that ran an overgrown chain over Steam Vents and the two sides tripping. That's, yeah, that seems weird to me. These come in. Cards are coming out. This comes out. This comes out. This comes out. The bolt's better than bolt's better than push because they can like finagle with a creature. So if you have one push, one bolt, two dismember, two Colgon's commands that kill that will kill whatever it is. Um, creeping target, which is important. The other alternative is I could sub some of them out for like lightning bolt for collective brutality, but like. Collective Brutality is, like, so bad. It's good against a company decks. It's good against Burn. It's kind of like it. Like, it's just kind of worse on rate against everything else. I'm just going to go like this. We're just going to send it. Yeah, I don't understand why you would splash for answers. Um. Start the fifty times all as well. Yeah, I mean, I understand their mins. I just, I just, I, I think that if you talk to anyone else, even after, even not me, you're just making a strict mistake doing that. I kind of just want to keep this hand because I don't want a mulligan, and we need to look at so many cards that like. Yellow. I mean, I don't think they want they want stifling of fetch lands to be a thing in modern. All right, let's cycle this. It's the whole idea of the card. It's it's not in fact. I love Stifle. Deluge, maybe. There's like a real cost to Deluge. Scalding Tarn. In this economy. Okay, so there we don't we no longer know. Anything about this? So let's 
Watch a lot of YouTube channels, man. Hey, I appreciate that. You have a stone. If you like it, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. That sh that stuff is free. Helps me out. All right, we're drawing them lands. These can set up some. I'm not even. I'm being like somewhat sarcastic about drawing all these lands, but like it can set up some nice like Snapcaster loops with K Command. That's the shit I do like. Flusterstorm is nice. Like Flusterstorm's a card they could they could realistically reprint and would be good. Like you need flexible answers. You need like like the top two cards on my list would be like Flusterstorm and like Containment Priest. I haven't done a plug all stream. Keep forgetting to do that. All right, we don't want. We kind of want this steam vents. As sad as that sounds, but I'm just not gonna do it. I'm gonna take this stub, and like, we're just gonna go. Like the stub's gonna be good at some point in this game, because like they're this really clunky deck that's gonna tap out. Worst comes to worst, we can go EOT. You discard, I return Street Wraith. Yeah, I don't care. Like it's a human. The the format just needs answers. They played that. Oh no, it didn't. Field of ruin. Wow, that's just wasteland. Oh, that sucks. How do you play Field of Ruin in your three color thing? Ain't Will, I appreciate the sub. What a nice guy. Thank you very much. You get the best emote on Twitch. You get the Philly Boy emote. The cutest. The cutest, the cutest uh, puppy in the land. All right, so we're just gonna do this. I'm stupid. I should, I should have like played the mountain here. Got distracted. I could have held up disdainful stroke spell pierce in this. Okay. Yeah, appreciate that, aim. Chapin and Fenn. Patrick Chapin made Grixis control happen. So I think I'm just going to hold up my counter spell, try to go like EOT, uh, Colagon's command, untap, like Snapcaster Thoughtseize. Uh, I also found other cards to finish the Shadow of Modern, except Liliana's. Try them since they're a little too much cast for me. You don't, yeah, you don't even need the Liliana's. Like, that's a card that you can wait on. Because, like, even the people that play Liliana aren't super happy about it. Ooh, Shock. So we're going to go down to 8 here, which is a little sketchy. But, like, we aren't cowards. Gross. Okay. Um, I don't want my opponent to cut me off of a color. We have black in our hands, so let's just go. I think I might just go like shock discard. Nah, that's loose. We might end up going a little too low on life total here. Yeah, I, I've I have tried bitter blossom and it is it is not very good. You just you can't deal with that like life loss. Okay. Just 
Jeez. We're just getting like outgrown, like tempoed out of this game. Uh, I think I'm going to play Death Shadow. One shot, or not two. Because I have this fatal push in my hand. Like, I would like to... I would like to, uh, you know, get a real two-for-one out of this thing. I'm just going to take this my opponent attacks, okay? Yeah, dude, Spell Pierce is... Uh, Spell Pierce has been giving me the business. I'm not going to crack this. Because, like, I don't want to, you know, die. My opponent's definitely more mid rangey than I thought they were going to be. <clears throat> Does this thing actually play Nickel Bolas? Or is that like, no, 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 no. I want to fetch. Oh, damn it. That seems a little meme-y. I am going to push this, though, because I can disdainful stroke a... I don't want to go to six, multiple of two bolts. I can disdainful stroke a nickel bolt if it's actually there. Ooh, I lose two life because of that. Gross. Um... Do I just have to, like, flash in a Snapcaster Mage? I'm just going to take this. What do you have, opponent? If I crack my fetch lines, am I going to die? I could have flashed in my Snapcaster Mage there, but like, if that like if they have like a Fatal Push, or Snap Fatal Push, and like it doesn't Snapcaster doesn't really do anything. And now I can go like Snapcaster Mage target Fatal Push. No, I just think that like they're gonna have they gotta have something right, or they would be blocking. And, like, if I just flash in my Snapcaster Mage, I don't have anything going on. Like, now I can go Snap Push. Yeah, none of the Lilianas are that good. You're, you're more over, like... Shock me. Okay. So now we flash Snapcaster Mage in. We target Fatal Push. We try to trade these off in combat. Hope my opponent doesn't have a bolt or another Color Guns command. Spell Snare. Okay. Yeah. We gotta make sure you have your surgicals first. That was an odd game. I got blown out by Spell Pierce. This is much more of like a tempo deck than I thought it was. I still don't think I want to like sideboard that drastically different for it. Uh, 
All right, I would like to play first. Okay. I'm going to stub anything here. My opponent does. Seems like a card that's good against control that is also... It, it, the problem is Liliana Veil vale is not good against control. Like, if you... An eight in your deck can only do... Like, it's not good against control. Like, if, if you do not go, like, Death Shadow into Liliana the Veil, vale, the Liliana the Veil vale will deal more damage, will hurt you more than it will hurt your opponent. Because your opponent deck will be better at top decking than this Death Shadow deck will be. And they're just going to end up playing, like, Jace or Teferi and just murking you. I don't really want to run this Jace out here. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. You have your Surgicals. That's important. Speaking of Surgical, my opponent's pausing. Yeah, I mean that's 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 a super loose. This is loose. Yeah, Liliana the Veil is like you're trying to you're trying to play the game on a depleted resource scale when you're a Snapcaster deck, and when when you're a Snapcaster deck, and when um you're a Snapcaster Mage deck, and like they have better singular cards that just do more things. That, that, that like in that end game, like Teferi and Jace will outmuscle a Liliana. They'll outmuscle your end game. Like it is it is like that that this play is also just awful. Like don't do this. This is like a, like my opponent just mulliganed, basically. We can't really punish it right now. Because of the way that our hands are lining up, which might end up hurting us, but yeah. Oh, actually, I actually feel like that's like the mirror. Yeah, I mean it's not bad in the mirror. Like it's a card that you're happy to have. I don't think Last Hope's as good as Veil in the mirror. Uh, gross. If we hit a land drop here. Oh my god, if we hit a land drop. Come on, deck. Now yeah, we gotta play ours instead of discarding. But ours is likely about to get Kologon's commanded and then flipped. Yeah. And like my opponents oh my opponent's gonna get rewarded after making this like super shitty play. They're gonna have to steal a death shadow, which is a mistake that I made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I punch it. I punch it here. My opponent's gonna like Oh that's so tilting. Yeah. Yeah, I think Vale is like since Lily, since uh, since Bloodbright Elf was introduced in the format, I don't think that Liliana the Veil is even good against Jund. It might be good against the Black Green decks, but like Bloodbright Elf just eats Planeswalkers for lunch. Mm. 
I just didn't think what I was doing there with my discard. But I played right into them, but like, don't bring in Surgical against Death Shadow. If you want to learn anything, like if my hand would have operated there, my opponent would have been dead as a doorknob. Part of it because they mulligan. So, I'm going to bobble myself because I don't mind leading on a swamp because our hand's a little slow. We're not going to do that then. Well, if that had been a Death Shadow, then I would have gone Swamp Thoughtseize or a Gurmag Angler. Probably should have gotten a Blood Crypt there so that I could be looting off of no lands. All right, let's just take their fast mana. It's another good matchup that I got browned the last time I played against it. So they're going to go Coast into Visions. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. It's been a rough stream for the home team, but I appreciate y'all being here and hanging out. All right. That's a nice card. Let's start off by Faithless Looting now. Because I would like to just jam a Gurmag Angler here. Okay. So we can get rid of that. And we can get rid of one Snapcaster Mage. Two, three. We might actually now we I'm gonna leave the looting in there because we already have like two more snaps. Slide a hand from the opponent. I hate it when people bring a needle or surgical or 100% and 2% of the game works for Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Like it worked out because I, I didn't play magic, you know? All right, let's start here. Because we could hit something that will inform our decision a little more. All right, another Snapcast Rage. We hit a Teamer Battle Rage. I'm going to play my Swamp. All right, I'm going to hit this Unlife because it's going to shave our clock. And then the turn after that, I'm probably going to go Snap Thoughtseize, hit Angel's Grace. Because Angel's Grace, again, like... We're not going to be able to kill them before they need to use Angel's Grace. Well, are we? My opponent gets to three mana. We attack them. Lotus Bloom goes to one. Well, I might be able to, like... Let's start by attacking. I need a second land to go. What, I, what I'm thinking here is there's a chance that I can, like take this ad nauseum and make them burn an angel's grace on me on like my attack so like next turn so let's bobble myself i want to see what my top card is it's a stub so now we just take the angel's grace Because we're drawing stuff in the dial. Because if I hit, if I had a land on top, there's a chance that I could have just taken ad nauseum and made it so they had to Angel's Grace to not die, effectively like trading my Thoughtseize and my Team of Battle Rage for their entire combo while putting pressure on them, which I'm cool with. Pact. Okay, so we're going to take this Angel's Grace. Because Angel's Grace also shuts off the Pact. And then I guess we don't make them use the Pact. I'm pretty sure we upkeep 
we counter the Lotus Bloom to choke them on mana. We don't have this anymore. We put two cards on the bottom. Play Temple. Best draw would be this card spell. <clears throat> Sad nauseum. The one deck where it's correct to register City of Brass. Right, Joe? Maybe not the one, but one of, one of them where it's good. That's a sick draw. Because that means we either get to hit this or hit this Pact of Negation or um, or enable them to use the Pact of Negation before they want to, I think. Yeah, so we just take Pact. We stub the Bloom. Because they can't draw another mana source and Angel's Grace in the same turn. So we just stifle their mana. I ran into one time I want. Ran, ran into the one time you wanted an IQ last weekend. Nice. Yes, if you can. If you can win with the trigger on the stack. Okay, so they, they drew in another bloom. Okay. So we draw land, we win. All right. Let's, whatever. So our last card is... I guess I could have, I should have looting, because I could have looting into the land push. Yeah, that was a punt. Like, land push wins me the game. I mean, I know that with my opponent's hand being ad nauseum, I know that they don't have any outs. But, like, it still would have been correct to go land push. <clears throat> no outs. No outs. I guess unlife's a chance. I don't want to cast a nature's claim to go up to five, down to four, then down to one. Oh, nice. You basically countered... Um, you basically just countered the bolt with the thing on the stack. Huh. Okay, so against this deck, I like Surgical Extraction. Like Ceremonies. I like a lot of my cards in this deck. I often have... I oftentimes have too many to bring in, so I have to, like reel myself in because like you can make arguments to bring in 11 cards i don't have 11 cards i want to take out like dismember's not great battle rage is medium faithless looting's bad once we get our deck honed um these are the bad cards here all of my removal is not good um it's likely my snapcaster mages are too slow but before we do that, cards we definitely want to bring in are these. Um, I don't think that I really want to... I, I think I would rather have Team or Battle Rage in my deck than like any of these cards. And I, I would rather have Looting, I think, than a Braid, Brutality, or any of these. Like, Brutality is just slow, so slow on the draw. And like Looting can throw away crap. Yeah, I think I'm going to go like this. I have yet to listen to this week's cast. I liked last week's with your the new co-host. Guy's well-spoken. I'll listen to the other one probably tomorrow. Yeah, but like I don't know any other cards that I would rather, you know what I mean? What other cards do I would I rather have? So we have a turn two angler. Which is gas. 
Nah, he's well edited. Nice. What am I gonna cut for brutality? You know, like what? And like a two mana duress in the draw seems seems tough. Yeah, Godhead of Awe. That's happened to me once or twice. I'm just gonna hit them with a thought seize here because what would they do with this? They put a card on the bottom. I'm gonna thought seize my opponent because I would like to hit like a pentad prism. You know, if they present me with no other good options. All right, we'll hit that. How's Craig doing? Are you guys appreciating Craig? Is Craig getting proper fluffing? The things that really matter. Okay, so they drew that either off one of their draws. They put a card on the bottom. One, two, three, four. So we actually don't even have to thought scour. We can just, but I'm gonna do that next turn when I have more mana and I can draw the card that I want and do something with it. Um, I'm gonna cycle a street wraith now because I would like to leave this extraction in my graveyard. One, two, three, four, five. I might cycle both street wraiths because I would like to leave one, two, three, four, five. Six. I'm gonna cycle both street wraiths. I don't like doing this because I have serum visions. But I would like to leave both Stubborn Denial and Surgical Extraction in my graveyard. Like, this is pretty poor form most of the time. But I think because our graveyard is, like, nice and stocked, we want these two cards. Are you getting rid of Craig? Craigles. It's important to know that what I did there, yeah, Gerdad, what I did there is not very, um, is not really good most of the time. Like, that's kind of bad fundamentals if you're playing Death Shadow. Like, you want to hold your street rates. That's a good one. So we have to Thought Seize next turn in order to stop Spoils of the Vault. Uh, we're going to go like this. I'm going to put this on the bottom, and I'm going to put this on the bottom. We're going to loot. I'm going to go get a, probably just a swap at this point. Like, there's no need for us to, like, hemorrhage too much here. Won't let us submit to iTunes slash Spotify. Oh, they're, like... They're like screwy on that. They're like, we're you have to use us and us only. That's crap. Yeah, but so if I wanted to say like what I did there with, with the street race is technically kind of bad form. Like you want to you want to pair a street race with a serum visions if you can, so you can immediately draw one of your top cards. The only reason that I determined that it was better to just do that. And ignore that rule was because I had two really good cards in my graveyard that I wanted access to. They put one card on the bottom, one on the top. Okay, so that's fine. They played Seacrum Coast, so I don't know any of their cards. I'm not just going to cast, I'm not going to cycle this Street Wraith because I don't want to die to just like. I guess they can't even cast Lightning Storm. So I am gonna cycle this thing after com I'm gonna cycle this after combat. Yeah, like right. Yeah, I'm sure that like I'm sure you'll get something out of it, Joe. The podcast is good. I think I have an island left. This is kinda of, like I should check, but I just didn't. But like good form would be to see if you have an island, which I do. Okay. So 
Slide of hand, you got it. Yeah, you, Joe, you should you should plug your podcast. I really like Joe's podcast. Everyone, I'm even on it from time to time. Guest appearance. I'm just going to attack, and I'm going to play my land because I want to be able to flashback this looting while holding up Disdainful Stroke. And I'm going to play Bobble, and I'm just going to crack Bobble right now. We do a lot of damage to ourselves this game. It's a, it's a magic podcast. It is very good. Okay, surgical is nice, but we don't really have anything good to surgical uh, on tectonic edge. What a savage punsman. I guess it's, I would tell you to link it, but if you're not putting it on SoundCloud, I'm not sure where, you, where your link's at, Joe. Okay. So my opponent's top decking, we have ad, ad nauseum covered twice. We don't have lightning storm covered. We could just get lightning stormed out of this game, but like such is life. Maybe I'm supposed to spoil, take the spoils for that reason. It's a pentad prism. Okay. I'm gonna surgical the spoils. Because, well, I guess now I'm going to, am I going to flashback my looting or am I going to surgical the spoils? Because this spoils just finds, like, lightning storm. My opponent kills me. Yeah, I'm just going to take this spoils. This is just like DT. All right, my opponent's dead next turn. I don't think my opponent has any outs. They have one ley line. Just seems so odd. I guess I'll take a picture just in case. Wrong link. Nice. Here at the Tech Edge podcast, we always have the best link. All right, that's the thing. All right, now I'm going to flashback looting. I should have done it pre-combat again, because if I hit team or battle rage here, I'm going to feel really stupid. Ready? Here comes battle rage. Just, just I just clicked through it, clicking too fast, like multitasking here. Okay. Let's just ditch both of these. And we just had them caught between a rock and a hard place, unless they top deck lightning storm. But then they don't have a land to do anything with it. Do anything with it. Speaker.com. Yeah, Joe's podcast is good. I am a big fan. Well, they don't have a land. They don't have a land, so they can't even they can't top deck land plus lightning storm in the same turn. I'm pretty sure my opponent's just dead. Unless they have a way to kill Gurmag Angler. And even if they if they play like Vendillion Click to block it, which I don't even know if they had. Yeah, I think my opponent's just super dead. Unless they want to like add nauseum in my upkeep. Which they could do. 
but it appears like they're going to. Okay, sure. Should I snap surgical those? Probably. Right? Yeah, I probably should snap surgical those. Yeah, I'm going to. I still have whatever the top of their deck covered. Oh, I have stubborn denial. I'm so. No, they can't even stubborn denial me. Or they can't give me because it doesn't matter. Do they? Well, you can't deny all this, right, Joe? It's got split second. Am I crazy? Is this what you're talking about? Me? You're talking about me snap do, hitting their cantrip? Yeah, probably should have snap hit their cantrip. Yeah, they died of space based effects, which I was just like, whatever. I mean, that game was, like, so over anyways. That we could just sit here and, like, drool on ourselves and still win because we just had everything covered. But I shouldn't have snap. I should have held my Snapcaster Mage to just deal with Lightning Storm, but they can't draw a land to kill me with Lightning Storm. So, like, whatever. That matchup was, like, was... That game was over as soon as I played Gurmag Angler, and the rest of the game was just, like, garbage time if you watch basketball. Yeah, no, I should have killed the can. I should have. I should have definitely gotten the cantrip. I just do all the time. It does. I don't even know. Like, to tell you the truth, I couldn't tell you word for word what Lightning Storm says. Switch point card. Lightning Storm. Instant. Lightning Storm deals X damage to any target where X is plus the number of charge counters on Lightning Storm. Discard it. Put two charge counters on Lightning Storm. You may choose a new target for it. Yeah, I would have died. I could throw lands back at them. Burn, 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 burn. Hopefully we can rattle off three in a row. Make a little bit of money. Fake money. Heater. I'm going to hold this. Because, like, like I said, we could hit a Serum Visions at some point. Like, we're our mana is spoken for regardless here. We'll probably play it next turn because it enables Shadow. Oh, Zimano Red Phoenix. So I think this is take a creature, push a creature, take a Metamorphose next turn. So I'm going to take, I kind of want to just not take damage. I want to take it slow. So I think I'm just going to take this Swift Spear. Going to end up killing this, like Thought Seizing and killing that next turn. I try to treat this similar to Burn. All right, well, that's an interesting draw. So I can just dismember this, go to nine, play a 4-4. Four, four. But if they hit a Faithless Looting, they can likely get me. I agree. Like I'm going to kill the creature. I just want to know if I want to go dismember Death Shadow. And I don't really want to. I want. I would like to play my Death Shadow after I clear out their hand a little more. And I'm going to sit on this Street Wraith until I need it. I would like to hit like a Faithless Looting or a Manamorphose here. Okay, so I think I can still take Manamorphose, push this, deal with the Swift Spear. Because like I'm going to go to 11, push... Still keeps me at 11. Swift Spear plus Fork Bolt puts me to... 
Uh, yeah. uh, it's a little scary. I think I'm just going to take Swift Spear. Because like, my opponent can set up a turn where they just like Swift Spear with two more mana and like cast a bunch of spells and make it huge. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take this Swift Spear. Yeah, I agree with you, Joey. Well, the problem the problem is that Soul Scar Mage gives it neg one neg one counters. So like it if they draw like lightning bolt, then it just makes my thing really small. LOL. So dismember to seven. I think I'm going to push because I would like to be able to use my street rate. To, and I, I feel like it's going gonna, gonna to put more pressure on my street rate if I dismember. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it better to play Gurdan? Four bolt and swift this turn. I think I don't think Manamorphos is nearly as scary in this version of the deck than the other one. I think I'm just gonna play Death Shadow. And give myself the option to push slash dismember. Because like now, because of this Arc Light Phoenix, dismember doesn't cost that much. It basically costs one. That's not a bad draw. All right, I'm going to cast this. They have Fork Bolt, Phoenix X. I think I just take Phoenix, as awkward as that is. So hang on. If I take Fork Bolt, they play Phoenix. I dismember the. So I go to seven. I dismember Phoenix. I go to three. Yeah, I think I'm going to take Phoenix. And then just, like, play Gurmag Angler. Yeah, we're going to take Phoenix. As odd as that is, like, we could die here for sure. Like, if our opponent hits, like, I don't know. If they hit exactly Faith of Sluting, I guess they hit Faith of Sluting or Manamorphose. Do I just play Angler? I can't stop. Because, like, the cards they could hit would be Manamorphose, Looting, Manamorphose. I'm just going to play Gurmag Angler. If they hit Looting, it's, it's tough. But I'm going to play Angler because Angler leaves them dead to, like, a couple draws next turn. It leaves them dead to a fetch land, excuse me. Another Shadow. If I can point my Dismember at something... Like that. Oh, that's going to be able to shrink one of my creatures. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you, Joe. So my opponent can just shrink one of my... But if they shrink Shadow... Yeah, those are nice. Doorknob. Because they're the last, they've got land, land, um, whatever it is left. Land, land, fork bolt. Fort bolt. It's been a great stream today. I mean, I've got, I've gotten beat up a little bit. I haven't played modern in a hot bit. Yeah, dude, I know what's going on. So most of the time, I want to board in. 
I don't, I'm not, I don't super know how to sideboard against the mono red Phoenix deck. But it's kind of like siding against Burn, Burn with Surgical Extraction. So, like, I'm fairly certain that I don't want my dismembers. <clears throat> and I'm fairly certain I want to cut on Street Wraiths. And, like, Snapcaster Mage doesn't seem that great. If I wanted, like, is this a braid or cast down? Is this better than this? I kind of think so. I don't think Snapcaster Mage is going to be that good. And I just want their creatures to deal zero damage to me. What does this look like? Is like a braid. Yeah, I would agree. What's the other? Ah, uh, Tarmogoyf. I don't really know why it's not a terminate. My buddy just told me to play cast down, so I was like, whatever, I'll do it. I think I'm gonna go like this because they could have like a shrine of burning rage. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this. Snapcaster Mage may be better than a Street Wraith. I don't know. Um, this hand. This hand's not bad. Like, I get to cycle one, two, three, four. Like, the creatures aren't going to deal damage, which is important. We get to look at a new card. We have a threat. I think I'm going to keep this hand. It's a little mopey, but, like, their creatures aren't going to deal me damage. <clears throat> My mana base isn't that painful, because we already have the swamp. Though I guess I want to fetch on turn one. Okay. I think that's going to allow us to go Watery Grave into uh, Interaction. How's school going, Joe? All right, I'm going to push this now. Yeah, his hand's good. It's a little slow to the board, you know? But, like, we don't really have to be that fast. I would like to do this because I would like to just be able to get a um, the necessary duel. So I'm going to cycle because if I hit a cycle or a bobble, I get to play angler. But I still might not be that address aggressive because I tap out to do it. Yeah, so let's just wait. <clears throat> School's nice. I had to tell my professors that I'm missing a week in April. They were cool with it, I assumed. Do you have to tell them why? You're like... Like, yo, I'm going to this magic fest. Professor. All right, we're just going to get a tap steam vents with this here mana source. And then I'm not super sure what I'm going to do on my turn. Like, part of me wants to just bolt my opponent so I can play Angler plus Delve. But, like, I know that's, like, a little aggressive. A fetch land would be nice. All right, or Bobble. You can say, yo, I got a MF in Magic Fest to go to. I'm going to leave up Steam Vents because they could play Phoenix, and I'm looking to just bolt to Phoenix. Even though I wouldn't mind like saving Bolt to go at my opponent's head. Oh, nice. You're a wizard, Joey. Uh, 
Oh, we're awful stubborn over here. Yeah, I'm gonna just use my mana. Like this might keep a keep a phoenix out of the graveyard. <clears throat> I guess now we could get lightning axe, and I would feel stupid. Oh, we got dismembered. All right, now I feel stupid. All right, punished. This game just got harder. I didn't think about dismember. Nice. Who got Bedlow Revelers? Nice. We're kind of playing Drago, and I think that favors me. But I could be wrong. I guess playing Drago kind of favors the deck that's not a tempo deck. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. Because like my wife's out of town and Phil Phil basically got he got neutered last weekend. And the low like they shaved him so that they could neuter him. And the lotion that they used to calm the irritation. Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna get rid of I'm going to have to just assume that I hit a threat, and I think that push is worse than stub if I hit a threat. Um, Phil basically got a chemical burn on his bag because he was allergic or reacted to whatever they were using. I want to untap and bolt this. We know there's no way they, they can't grow it to be larger. And he can't be alone or he, like... It just itches him too much. Like I have to be like I've been on him all stream. I'm gonna hold that. There might come a world where we flash back this looting. We're probably gonna flash back the next chance we get. Yeah. I feel so bad for him. Yeah, it's like a it's like a two or three hundred person. It's between two and three hundred person tournament. This smells like a bedroom reveler. Yeah, dude, I feel really bad for Phil. If you just look at it, like if, if like if I, I see what's going on in him, if that was happening to me, dude, I would freak I would I would freak out. I think I just ditch Inquisition and land and I play this so that I can thought scour. Ben Lumbly. Okay. That's probably going to cook our goose. Yeah, that's also, that's not happening because my wife's out of town. Like, I, I missed so many Maddie tournaments this week because my wife's, so my wife's out of town for work. All right. All right, we're uh, we're running hot, as the kids would say. This is gone. Lightning bolt. <clears throat> yeah, it just uh, I just missed out on a lot of tournaments this this time. Like I I won't even I won't even get close for queuing for the envy this this time, which is my favorite tournament. I love me a good envy queue. All right, come on. Oh, that sucks. All right, so we're going to just kill both of these creatures. The opponent has two cards, and one of them are Lightning Bolt. You got it. I 
a yield, a yield opponent. That was just a sucky. I, I got a grass seven. I, I hit the back end of a faith saluting. They could go land plus dismember, which really punished me. So I, I guess I've got to think about that more. There's a more of an argument for dismember now that we've seen um, Bedlam Reveler, but I, I think that's just too much damage to take. <clears throat> All right, I would like to play first. I think I went a mulligan. Like, I have no, I have good interaction, but I just don't have a way to find a threat. Saturday night affiliate. So if I day two, it's going to be hungover. Nice. Weddings are great. I only have one street wraith, right? Like his hand's just like I have to mulligan because this is basically a mulligan. Like his hand's better, I guess. We don't want that. I'm gonna start off with this blood crypt. I'm gonna start off with the swamp. Opponent boarding and surgical extraction. I'm just gonna take this man off us. Just modern of 2019 is it's just like surgical extraction. Oh, they still have a, they still have a looting. It's just surgical extraction. The format. I wonder if I'm supposed to take their looting, or if I should wait for them to go down a card before I do that. Okay, that's not bad. Take surgical and surgical hit surgical. A L O L. So keep building up Delve. Yeah, I think I'm actually, I'm thinking about it. We'll let them cast it and see what happens. The problem is that you should, shouldn't be playing Faith the Saluting in any fair, any fair way right now. All right, so they hit a Phoenix. So now I'm a little more tempted to wait. Bolting. Push this. <clears throat> so they're going to surgical... Some card of mine that doesn't matter. And then I'm going to surgical their Phoenix. All right. Did you draw a second surgical, my friend? I'm just going to do this because I want to. Yeah, we can get into a good old surgical fight. All right, each one of us has nothing but lands. And each one of us is a faithless looting. And I get the first draw step. What happens? Find out on the next episode of Crippled Modern Decks. You have nothing and I have nothing. We all have nothing together. So what do we have? We have eight really sweet top decks. I don't think I'm going to go fetch shock looting 
So I'm obviously not going to go fetch shock looting. That was dumb to say. I'm just going to go fetch a tap land. See the draw. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. I'm going to do it now. A braid. I don't think I want a braid. So I'm just going to go fetch a tap land, whatever. My opponent can loot if they want. It's <clears throat> not bad. Anamorphos. Opponent is can tripping. Their can trips don't even do anything now. <coughs> okay. They found a dude. I found a dude. Oh. Oh, baby. So I probably just want to brutality this. And then draw this land to protect my shadow from uh, from being bolted. The lands the lands like a weird top deck, but it's like it's like protect my shadow. Light up the stage. All right. Now I wish I didn't have this land, but I guess I can hold it. Well, no, I want to be able to block the Swift Spear no matter what, I think. <laughs> like, if my opponent draws a burn spell and then attacks, I want to I wanna be able to just eat the Swift Spear. So this might be loose. Like, it makes my looting a little worse. But it does just stonewall this thing. All right. Mountain lava spike. Lava spike in me is a dangerous game. They might want to wait until next turn to bait me into attacking. So I can still fetch in, I can't fetch islands. So I, I think it's correct for me to fetch. Yeah, I think it's correct for me to fetch. Because I would like to be able to do something after I looting here. Okay. So can I attack? My opponent's going to deal three damage to me. If they draw another three damage burn spell, <clears throat> I think I let the first one resolve and stub the second one. Alternatively, I think I just counter the, the guaranteed one. Yeah, I'm just going to counter. Then if they draw Dismember, I'm in a lot of trouble. <clears throat> I'm going to counter the first... Do they have, like, an exquisite Firecraft in their deck? No. Okay. Cast with Flashback. I kind of want to counter this. So how many cards? One, two, three, four, five. Because if they find Bedlam Reveler, I could be in a lot of trouble. But then if they just have Burn Spell, Burn Spell, I'm dead. I don't think I can afford to do that. Maybe attacking is bad. They 
ditch, light up the stage and rat this trap. Okay. If I let this resolve, I'm just going to stub it. Tight game. I'd be willing to, I think my opponent has another burn spell. Because <clears throat> they discarded Land the Stage Ravenous Trap. So they ha obviously have another spell. So I likely, I'm not sure I can even attack this turn. Yeah, if I don't draw something, I don't think I can attack. Another light up, okay. Yeah, I see what you're I see what you're talking about, Joe. Lava spike, faithless living. So lava spike kills me. All right. So this is where we turn it sideways. Uh, we tell our opponent to kill us. Yeah, it's, it's tough because I wanted to race, but I can't look. Did I hit F6? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I probably shouldn't have attacked. I, I have not played well this stream. All right, man. Yeah, dude, F6, you got it. Okay, there's two lands. Looting, so they need land plus spell. I block. Yep. Whew. All right, let's see if we can get that last. Let's see if we can get. Oh, it's only the third match of the league. Jesus. All right, I'm going to grab a. I'm going to grab water. I'll be right back. So it is past noon. It's acceptable to drink beer. All right, I would like to play first. I should have restarted, should have restarted Moto at some point. I will keep this hand. It's kind of, it's a little weird. We probably have to lead on Watery Grave. And then we'll Thought Scour. I could get like Steam Vents, but I don't really want to do that. Like if you ever have an opportunity to fetch Steam Vents, it's likely wrong. Like, it, 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 like the Steam Vents caught me, tripped me up last game. Like the Steam Vents is there so it can work with your Swamp when you need it to. Whoa. Three matches, excuse me. Well, that, that's the part of playing this deck that's like, ugh. 
It's so like mentally taxing playing this. I'm gonna that's gonna be probably a bobble discard. I don't even like I, I know the card demagogue, but I don't know what it does. What am I convincing you to dredge? I don't know. I don't know if I have the fortitude for that. I think I'm gonna go here. Here. One, two, three, four. The next turn I'll fetch an island so I can snap Inquisition and still stub through a Blood Moon. I don't think Dredge is... I've played Dredge before. I do not think... I think it's really hard to play. I get, like, so... Conf I get, like, it's just not the kind of magic that I've ever... That I've played. That might be part of why it's hard for me. What is this? Don't be scared. It won't bite. Chalice. Okay, so we're playing against... We must be playing against, like, Grishel Brand, maybe. I don't, I don't even know what is happening to me right now. Oh, uh, Wiccan. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Andrew, for gifting it. I appreciate you. I'm free all day. This is going to be the end of my magic for today. My, my mom's coming in. Later, we gonna hang. Hey, Phil. I also have to take him O-U-T soon. Cyber guide. I, I I know I know a I know a good grinder that I can get a hold of though. I have Sir. Why would I Why would I talk to this random Sodek man when I have Sir DeJoy, who I can chat with? I'm just going to get ensnaring bridge and just be like peak modern. Should I have, I should have gone battle rage, snap battle rage. Wow, that just went over my head. I should have just gone battle rage, snap battle rage. Yep. I came to it a little late. I basically used it in Toronto. <laughs> um, I guess I just bring this in because this makes it so that like I battle rage here, put them to 12, and my Snapcaster Mage can reasonably kill them before they kill me. Even under like a bridge. Rage this. And I'm going to just crack my bobble because I could hit another Snapcaster Mage, flash it in EOT, and have it be lethal through a bridge. Okay, there's the mount we knew about. Do you have a bridge, homie? Do you have a damnation? I didn't watch any of LA's coverage yesterday, so I don't I don't know what went on over there. Yeah, Andrew, I was working on that four color shadow list. I'll send that to you today after after I get done streaming. Yeah, I watched the SCG. I just like Legacy. It was Master of Cruelties. I don't even know what that does. But we're trying to be fun. And like three develop. What is what is 
exclamation point card master of cruelties. Jesus. Okay. So against this fun and interactive deck, we probably want a Braid and Kolagon's Command. It sounds like this deck's not very good, or it sounds like um, the removal is not very good against this deck. I could bring in Rejection just for whatever. But I think I'm just going to do this. I think we're just going to submit it and go. Does that actually play Bob? Also, you see those Dark Confidants? You see those Dark Confidants running around? You bring in recall? Oh, that's so narrow. I mean, I get, I get why. So I can go cycle bolt myself shadows. I have two looks at a blue land. I'm just like cold to chalice though. What can I hit that matters? I can hit blue land, which there's 17. Minus three, there's 14. I could, there's 14. I could hit six discard spells. Or I could hit 14 plus six is 20, plus three more street rates is 23. And I get two looks at them. I can bolt myself to deal myself damage. I'm going to be an adult. Adulting. Yes. Leyline of the Void. Leyline of the Void. Yes, Field of Ruin. Field of Ruin is no fun. What is this? You have Surgical in your deck too, bud? That'd be a combo. That'd be a combination. We went for four hours and 21 minutes so far. I don't think we have the luxury of playing around Blood Moon. Yeah, so I, I got it stuck in my head. Oh, here, we, is this what you're talking about? Hmm. Yeah, I got stuck in my head that I wanted to pair this with the Serum Visions. I mean, I guess we just take a veil. Blue white control is just not strong against anything, in my opinion. I got a deck just kind of sucks all the way around. All right, all right, all right. We're doing it. They don't even have the land. Which card can I beat? <clears throat> okay, so here's where we are at. I can't beat either. I can't beat my opponent's hand if they draw a land next turn. So we're going to go like this. I'm going to play a 4 4, and I'm just going to hope that they can't kill it. And that wins me the game. I can't beat Liliana the Veil, right?
like without being able to rebuy with these Colagons commands. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I forgot about Chalice the Void. Fast and loose, baby. I would agree when it comes to you're right, when it like it destroys those decks. Chalice check on moto. Hopefully we draw land so we can K command and get rid of this. Nice. I think we kill Liliana. And whatever, I'm just dealing max damage. Hang on. Five, shock, nine. Okay, yeah, we're just going to kill this Liliana. Wait, wait, are you talking about, I like, you like taking Veil? I'm confused. I probably should have draw stepped, shocked them. Whatever, I put them on a two turn clock. Target player discards a card. I don't even think I'm not even gonna kill this chalice. Just you take two, discard your last card. Oh man, we can kill a blocker too. We're so good at this game. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hopefully, we can get this last last one here. And then we'll have gone 2 3 3 2 4 1 in our leagues, which is kind of funny. I really appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. You all are great. You all are absolutely fantastic. I've had a fun stream. We appreciate you. You guys are great. Y'all are great. I love the people that say, like, Blood Moon's good against Death Shadow. And I'm like, if you tap three mana and don't affect the board against Death Shadow deck, like... You in trouble. I'm going to keep his hand. Jeez, Ant. Jeez, man. Thank you again. I appreciate you, my friend. I appreciate you very much, Andrew. It didn't go through. How do you feel about boarding another line against you? It's fine, yeah. It's fine. Ley, like, ley line's good. Okay, that's not bad. So let's... I think we're playing against regular affinity. And I would like to keep this Mox Opal turned off, but I think I'm going to cycle right now. It's kind of a question mark that I don't really know. There's more where that came from. Well, I appreciate you, Andrew. 
I appreciate you very much. So I'm just gonna try to get this get this game over with. Ooh, wow. Oh man, we can't even. I was I was so hyped. I thought I was gonna be able to stubborn denial this, but they're two dark steel citadels. I was gonna be like, you all are watching the actual factual stubbing of a cranial plating. <laughs> Thank you very much, Andrew. Okay, so that one. It doesn't really matter which one I kill. So I think I'm just going to kill. I'm going to dismember this. See you later, Andrew. I'll send you over that list um, later. So I'm just going to dismember and then fatal push. Um, there's probably a way I could have done this to set up like a bigger blowout. Like I probably could have used this dismember in combat somehow, but I want to get my shadow in play. So the sign of a few decks. Come on, we got cheers. When is the? When is the? Uh, I hope I can make it, uh, Harry. Um, my dog, my wife's out of town, and my dog has been a little under the weather and you can't really leave him alone. I probably could have done this better to set up like a bigger blowout. But like hopefully I just kill my opponent before this matters. Yeah. He's got such sensitive skin that after a very unfortunate run in with some yeah, dude. You guys want to check them out? We're going for a ride, Twitch chat. Here he is. Taking a little nap. Look at that, he has a little gray spot on his ear. He's only a year old. Look at that. Look at that, he's already had gray hair. What a mature dog. What a cute, mature dog. <clears throat> Dude, he is the best boy. I might be able to. But I'll have to look into it this week. All right, so we're just going to push this right now. Because we're going to push it anyways. And I've seen Affinity decks run weird stuff like... Um, that Battle Rage was nice. Run weird stuff like Stubborn Denial. And the last thing I want to do is to have them crack me and gain like... Whatever, one, two, three, four, five. Five life. And get outside of Battle Rage range. Philly is the best boy. Philly is, he's so tough. Like, like I, I'm not going to show you guys what his bag looks like, but if you guys were to see that and then see like how happy his demeanor is still, like he's still just trooping, he's an absolute beast. I, I live in Washington, D.C., so I would go to Baltimore. It's about a 45-minute drive away. All right, opponent scoops it up. Hopefully this is the last match of the stream. So we have a pretty nice sideboard. We can go here. here. Oh, yeah, Hercules Recall just, like, randomly slaps. All right, cards that come out. Stubborn Denial. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm just going to shave here. Like, I, I don't actually know. Like, I like to take out, 
like to have a little bit of discard against this deck, but not too much. I don't really want to bring in, like, Doomblade, like, two mana, neg two, neg two. They do have Frogmite, so it could be a little better. No, dude, Dredge is a Dredge is a great deck there. There, you should check out um my link, the site link below. Tech Edge Podcast in the chat. He wrote up a good thing about um uh, um about Dredge recently. Wow, Joey, you're 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 talking some fighting words there. All right. My dog is the best. Oh, you're in Delaware? Please so go to the New Jersey one. Sort. Five converted mana costs. Sort. All right. We're going to do this. Um, I don't really want to shave on threats. Uh, I could bring in Collected Brutality, but like, yeah, you know. Yes. Think you do Baltimore. Hearthstone heater. All right. I mean, I could just keep that on top as a way to en enable delve. God, hopefully I just brown my opponent with a freaking Hercules recall so bad. Relic, okay. It seems like an odd board in from an affinity deck. Well, we did just get a card that's pretty solid against. Watery Grave, Serum Visions. I don't think that I want either of these because they don't really fit on my curve. Like, next turn, I'm casting Jace. I could set up, like, a Hercules Recall plus Thoughtseize turn. I guess I can keep the Thoughtseize because I can just loot it away if it, if it doesn't end up being good. <clears throat> recall is literally unbeatable. Yeah, especially if we can flash it back. Like, the first one's going to be tough. My opponent also has a pretty slow start here. Okay, well, it's not slow anymore. Okay. Okay. Do I have to just, like, recall now? I could like hold recall, recall EOT, and then go Jace plus Thoughtseize. I think that's what I want to do. Because this is like a lot of damage. If I just tap out, my opponent can kind of probably go ham. Can either they crack me for a little bit of damage here? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Okay. Can I afford to take this? How much damage is this? Eight? No, we can't take this. We're just going to recall everything. They can, they can replay their Mem Knights, but we can go like Shatter Shock the Mem Knights.
They also get to like replay Opal. Maybe I should have just taken the damage. Yeah, I should have just taken this shot, I think. Because they get to play a lot of stuff back. But I guess I get to go like... I don't know. Maybe I think I messed up. I think I could have gotten more out of that. <clears throat> the question is, am I still going Jace plus Thoughtseize? Because I can go Jace, animate. I'm going to go Jace, take Arcbound. Jace, uh, Jace Thoughtseize, take Arcbound Ravager. And then if they play Plating, animate. Equipped, make an artifact. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'm not quite dead with infect. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go Thoughtseize. No, oh, I'm gonna go get Blood Crypt, I think. Or I could just get a swamp. I'm going to get a Blood Crypt. That might be wrong to do. I'm likely going to take a bunch of damage here. But then hopefully this Kologon's command fixes me up. But they might go for the uh, for the Ink Moth plan because of Death Shadow. Well, so if Jace comes in, yeah, I mean, the relics make this worse. Where Jace comes in is against the, like, where you want to recycle your removal. And, like, we're not going to be able to recycle our removal here as well. Like, Jace is like, because we would bring Snapcaster Mage in this matchup. It's a frenzy. It's a blood moon. All right. All right. Alrighty. That blood move is really bad. I almost fetched the swamp. Um, we can't beat this. I'm just going to scoop this game up. We can't beat my opponent's hand here. Give me one second. My wife just came in. I'm going to go say hi. We're going to play around Blood Moon the next one. Thank 
Yeah, I would. I agree, Joe. But it's it's probably like, like, is it better than the fifth or sixth discard spell? Maybe a stubborn denial, a street raid. Like is, um, Megan, he needs to go O U T. Sorry, I forgot. I can do it in ten minutes. As soon as I'm done, I'll do it. You think so? Well, Thoughtseize doesn't get better on the play. All right, we'll go with Mr. Used to Play Affinity. We'll go with the Mr. Play Play Affinity. Try it. Uh, we're going to keep this hand. It's not great, but it is what we got. If we, I want to fetch a Blood Crypt with this land, I think. My opponent put a card on top. Should I check it out and maybe hit them? What do you got? Vault Scourge. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can draw. I probably should have just done it myself. <sighs> All right. So we could get Anglin next turn, especially if my opponent plays this. <clears throat> We're not really playing around Blood Moon. All right. I'm not gonna. Because if my opponent puts Mox Opal in the stack, I think I'm going to push this thing. Okay, they didn't. Okay, so now we're just going to go Dismember because we drew Shadow. Dismember this and then play Gurmag Angler. This is where this deck is the net. On the play, cantrip, interact with you, play a 5-5. Five, five. We want another land because we, we want to be able to like do stuff with our Snapcaster Mages. And it'll enable Death Shadow. Spring Leaf Drum. Ravager's kind of annoying, but we can kill the Ravager before... It moves anything over, which is good. That's a really nice draw. We're drawing very well in this game. Push this. I don't know the threats and stuff, right? We have to play this next guy, you know? Is it like Angler and Shadow ahead of schedule are tough? Then we get to kind of like pace the game with Snapcaster. Like, oh, no, we don't want to do that. This is going to get Blood Crypt. I'm glad we got to get that. Well, they couldn't put it on Ink Moth. Because like Ink Moth is like a tough way to lose here. I don't want them to get this on Ink Moth Nexus, right? Because that like cuts the clock in half. If they if they attack me here, they're doing damage. They're like they're uh, getting a little dangerous. But I might be wrong. I right, gotta get this thing. Experimental frenzy. I don't think that's gonna do it for you. All right. 
I put on an ink moth, goof snap push. But what's the, like, I would rather just deal with the Arcbound Ravager while I don't have the choice, right? Because, like, yes, I have snap push for whatever they do. See what my opponent has on top of the deck. I kind of want to just snap push this right now. They can't play the top card on, they can't play the card on top of the deck, actually, unless it's an instant. It's a spell pierce. I kind of want to just snap push this right now and put them to eight. Or put them to five, so the angler's lethal. And then the shadow plus um plus snap is lethal too. Yeah, we're just gonna I'm just gonna push damage. Like, this is aggressive for sure, but I would like to lean on my opponent as much as possible before this frenzy takes over. <clears throat> this demands a block of either Gurmag Angler and then one of Death Shadow or Snapcaster Mage next turn. Yeah, we drew another push, which is nuts. Okay, that's annoying, but uh, we still have it beat because my opponent. Yeah, we still have it beat. Yeah, I, I, I've drawn very well this game. They have a Spell Pierce in hand. Um, might as well... I don't think they can do anything. I don't have a Stubborn Denial in. I should do this. Let's look for a discard spell. Okay. All right. So we did the full circle. We went from 2-3... To 3 2 to 4 1. We should keep streaming so I can 5 0. No, I'm tired. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just had to warm up with the deck, I guess. I was making some mistakes. Um, the cast down seems kind of weird. My friend told me to play it, so I did. It's probably the only card they don't really like. Uh, but besides that, uh, the deck's still good. I gotta hop on the training wheels, see if I can get ready to rock and roll with it. But. Um, let me see if I if anyone that I know is currently streaming. If you guys have any questions, ask me. Shoot me a message. Um, shoot me a message there while I'm looking for someone to host. All right, we're going to send you guys over to Strifo because I like his legacy deck. His legacy deck is cool. This guy plays Legacy, so it's a little different content, but I appreciate everyone for showing